Hi, I'm Rachel from Jimmy Beans Wool, and today I'm going to show you everything you need to know for Block 5 of the Cascade Yarns Diagonal Afghan. Alright, so here we have our lovely Block 5, and you can see it is just covered in cables. We have lots and lots of cabling going on here. Um, so that means I'm going to have a lot of different types of cables and twists to show you guys um, just so you can get kind of an overview of what we're doing. Anytime you see like a cross here where you've got knit stitches crossing over each other, like here, 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 those are going to be called cables. And then anytime you have um, a like column of knit stitches going one direction or another direction, like you can see that happening here and also here, um, those are going to be called twists. So that I'm going to split up showing the twists in one section and the cables in another section. Um, just to kind of keep that separated for you guys. So let me go ahead and get this guy out of the way and we will get started with the twists first. Okay, so there are four different twists in this pattern. They are over either four stitches or five stitches. So let me start by showing you the four stitch. Okay, so let me get into my swatch a little bit here. And of course, make sure and grab your cable needle because you're going to need that to stick it right in my yarn ball so it's handy. Okay, so for the four stitch right purl twist, the first thing you're going to do is grab your cable needle and then you are going to slip one stitch onto the cable needle like that. And then you're going to hold it to the back of your work. Just like that. And then you will knit the next three stitches. So one, two, three, and then you will come back to that stitch that's on your cable needle, move your yarn into the front, and purl that stitch. Okay, and that is the four stitch RPT or right purl twist. Now let's do the LPT, the left purl stitch. In that case, what you will do is take your cable needle, slip three stitches, onto your cable needle like so. And you're gonna hold it to the front. Make sure your working yarn is in the front as well because you're gonna purl one stitch. And then bring your working yarn back to the back and knit three stitches off of the cable needle. Just like that. All right, so that's how you do the twists over four stitches. So now let's do the five stitch right purl twist and left purl twist. So for the five stitch RPT, you're gonna slip two stitches onto your cable needle. One, two, and you're gonna hold those to the back. So kind of maneuver that back around to the back side of your work. Then you will knit three so one, two, and three. And then you are going to come back and move your working yarn to the front and then purl two off of that cable needle. So purl one, purl two. Okay, and then on the um, five stitch left purl twist, LPT, you're gonna do basically the exact opposite. You're gonna slip three stitches to your cable needle this time one, two, three, and then hold that to the front. Bring your working yarn to the front again, and purl two, purl one, purl two. Move your working yarn to the back, and then knit three from the cable needle, two and three. Okay, so that is how you do all of the twists in this pattern. All right, so the remaining stitches to go over are the cable stitches. So these stitches are all going to involve knits. You won't be purling any of them. You do still need your cable needle, so make sure that is handy. And um, let's just go ahead and get started. So the first one is a right cable. It's a three over one right cable. 
So let me just go ahead and knit a couple stitches here. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is slip one stitch to the cable needle and hold it to the back of your work. Kinda gotta maneuver that needle around, there we go. Okay, so then we're gonna knit three. Whoopsie, watch your cable needle when you're doing that. It's kinda hard when you're near the edge of your work actually, it gets much easier when you're in the middle. Okay, so one, two, and three. And then we'll come back to the cable needle and knit one stitch off of it. And since we're knitting all these stitches, we don't have to worry about moving our working yarn um, from front to back or anything like that. It should be in back the whole time. Okay, so that was the three over one right cable. Let's do the one over three left cable now. So we're gonna slip three stitches to the front. And then go ahead and knit one. And then come back and knit those three stitches off of the cable needle. So one, two, and three. Okay, so those are the, um, the three one and one three right cable and left cable. So now let's move on to the three two and two three right cable and left cable. So as you might imagine, this involves five stitches. It's three and two. So for the first one, we're gonna slip two stitches to the cable needle, one and two, and hold it to back. You can see that I put my cable needle behind my needle before I started that one. It just makes it easier if you have your cable needle already positioned to go to the back side of your work and then you're not juggling it around. So that's my little tip on how to have correct placement there and make it easier for yourself. Okay, so you slip the two stitches to the cable needle, then go ahead and knit three. One, two, and three. And then come back and knit those two stitches off of the cable needle. One and two. All right, and then the two, three left cable is gonna be basically the opposite. So you're gonna slip three stitches, one, two, three, hold them to the front, knit two stitches, one and two, and then you are going to knit three, one, two, and three. Okay, so you can see both of our cables we've done so far there. There's this one here, this is the one going to the right, and that one's going to the left. And that was over the five stitches on each side. And then this one is over the four stitches, and you've got that one going to the right, and then that one going to the left. Okay, so the final thing we're gonna do is the three, the six stitch right cable and six stitch left cable. And that is over six stitches, as you might imagine. So I'm gonna actually, kind of back up here a little bit so I can get enough stitches to show both of these. So just bear with me a minute. And of course we're continuing to do our, um, uh, these are all knit stitches, so you're gonna be knitting every stitch so your working yarn will stay on the back side. And just make sure you've got your cable needle placed in a way that is easy for you to move it to the front or the back. Okay, so grab that cable needle and you're gonna slip three stitches to the cable needle and hold them to the back. Oops, I just did the thing I told you guys not to do. <laughs> Let me put my cable needle behind my right needle. So go one, two, and three. Hold them to the back. And then knit three. One, two, and three, and then knit three from the cable needle. One, two, and three. So that's your six stitch right cable. And then for the six stitch left cable, we're gonna do the opposite basically. We're gonna slip three stitches, hold them to the front and then knit three stitches. One, 
two and three. And then knit those three from the cable needle. One, two, and three. And that is how you do the six stitch cable. So let me finish there and you can see really nicely how this one is curving to the right and that one is curving to the left. And that's the um, shape you're making when you do those two cables. And that is all of the different cables you need to know for this square. All right, so that was block five of the Diagonal Afghan. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'm Rachel from Jimmy Beans Wool. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing because we have a lot more yarn reviews, tutorials, and other fiber fun like that. Happy crafting!